but yeah, so, so Kathy, um, I just wanted to give a quick rundown on the tensor rings that, that you were discussing there and just give a little bit of background on these. And then I'd like to discuss the consciousness work, the energy work that is associated with these fields. And also here at the end, I would love to gift everybody the sacred heart activation, which is a really profound light of you that you can work with to do all kinds of wonderful healing, clearing, amazing things. So, um, so we'll go ahead and, and start with the, the basis of the physical tools that we create, and then we'll discuss some more of the energetic style of tools. Um, so the tensor rings, a tensor ring, we make out of copper. We also make them out of silver for more of the jewelry style, but a copper tensor ring is created physically when a piece of copper wire is drawn, when copper wire is created it aligns the crystal structure within the wire because copper does have a crystal structure within it. And so when that wire is created, it creates a energetic flow through the wire because of the alignment of the crystals. So we take that wire, we fold it in half, we twist it, we bring the ends back together. So now then there's creating this flow of energy that goes both directions. Now what makes this function and create the tensor field is these are like antennas in that you cut it to a very specific sacred measurement that then produces a tensor ring and a tensor field. So these specific measurements called cubits, um, Slim Sperling was the original creator or rediscoverer of the tensor technology. He was from South Dakota as well and also spent a lot of time in Colorado. Um, so Slim Sperling, he went around with the likes of like Drun Valel Melchizedek and others. He worked with the tensor fields for 16 years before he died. Now they've done some really magnificent research, um, including with, um, oh gosh, I don't have my book here, but dancing with water, the new science of water. They actually, um, wrote their first book at the same time that, uh, we were working with the Hedica, which Kathy showed, which is the Triscale. It's the three spirals. And my sister actually channeled that in, gosh, in 2010 as the symbol of the water elemental Hedica. So I was making these Hedicas out of copper wire and I was giving them out all over the world. And that's how we had met the gals at Dancing with Water. And so they call us up and said, well, gosh, yes, all of our science on what these Triscalians, the Hedicas do with water and with root growth and plants, our science backs this. So basically you take that Hedica, you can place it in soil, it'll increase root growth 15 feet out. Um, you can also place water on top of those Hedicas to restructure wa your water, which is basically you are bringing more of the consciousness and light of water into itself. That's where we see the magic is working with these fields of consciousness. So anyway, um, we started to to uh, work with the gals at Dancing with Water. They actually introduced me to the late Slim Sperling. Um, and Slim was, again, the original creators of the Tensor Rings. So Slim and I, well, we still work together. He is very much a part of the studio here in the Black Hills of South Dakota, um, where we create all of these higher dimensional energy tools. So Slim is still a very much part of these creations. Um, Slim actually came to me and started to teach me how to make tensor rings. And that was three years after his death. And over the past 14 years that we've been doing this, I have had the remembrances of creating these through lifetimes, not necessarily the physical tools, but the higher dimensional aspects of these tools where we create everything first and then bring it into the physical. So again, I was talking about how Hedica, the symbol of the water elemental, brings the consciousness of water into itself. So do the tensor rings. So the tensor rings, like I say, when we create here first, we have put in what we call the etheric templates, the higher dimensional aspects of these tools, all of the frequencies and properties of all the plant, 
crystal and mineral kingdoms of this planet, as well as different rays of light we've worked with through the years, as well as different healing modalities that my sister and I have discovered along the way.